Yeah, that worked. All right, thanks. Hi, I am not Jesse Selk. I'm Aaron Boswell from Twin Strand Biosciences. Um, and thank you very much for the opportunity to present to you today. Uh, the plan for the next few minutes, I'm gonna borrow maybe 45 seconds from Tempest, is to introduce you to uh, duplex sequencing technology and how it can be applied for significantly higher sensitivity MRD assessment. Uh, the products and stuff that I talk about today are for research use only. Okay, so MRD, it's kind of leukemia, uh, I mean, sorry, AML, MRD. Here we're talking about leukemia, we're talking about MRD, if you still have MRD, you still have cancer. And current methods for assessing AML, MRD, like flow cytometry, are good, but somewhat variable between labs and operators. NGS, standard NGS, is kind of an emerging method that is more robust, less variable, but you know, it leaves something to be desired on the sensitivity side. Uh, there are better methods, and I'll tell you about one right now. So, duplex sequencing is an error correction method for NGS that is 10,000 times more accurate than NGS alone. And we used it to make a very sensitive AML MRD assay called AML29. So, in this figure, um, I'm showing you data from one sample, it's a contrived sample, that's been processed with three different levels of error correction. And the different color sections are different genes, uh, and the three panels are kind of the different data, you know, data processed different ways. In the top panel, we're looking at just standard NGS. So no error correction applied. Standard NGS has an error rate of about one in a thousand. And when you zoom in to one in a thousand on the y-axis, which we've done here, uh, it's just noise. Uh, don't really get anything useful out of that. When you look at the middle panel, so same exact data, but we just informatically can apply different levels of error correction, we applied single strand level error correction. And average error rate with these kind of methods is about one in 25,000, so much better. You know, you knock down this wall of noise, but you still see variance at pretty much every nucleotide position, and you get kind of these false positive spikes that are not uncommon, like you see on the right-hand side that are almost one in a thousand frequency. Importantly, any mutations that are below the noise threshold are just still indistinguishable. You can't see them. With duplex sequencing, the lower, the bottom panel, uh, you get an error rate below one in 10 million. And that level of error correction virtually eliminates every error. Uh, so you can see just real mutations that are very low frequency. You can't actually see them because they're too tiny on the slide, but there's little inset plots where we detected one in 100,000 uh, VAF spike ins uh, in this sample. And so, you know, cleaner data, but really eliminates the technical noise threshold that used to prevent you from really deeply sequencing things and getting useful insights. So that was a technical demonstration. We'll look at some clinical data. This is from the SWOG 106 study. We looked at 67 adult AML patients, day 28 bone marrow aspirates, duplex sequencing data is on the left, flow cytometry is on the right, and takeaway here, you know, when you look at these plots, the bigger the spot, the line, gap between the lines, the better you did. And you know, takeaway is that duplex sequencing significantly outperformed flow cytometry when it came to predicting time to relapse and overall, um, and relapse-free survival. So that's exciting if you're thinking about NGS and applying it for AMLMRD is a good method. All right, three minutes. So in summary, <laughs> so funny, uh, duplex sequencing AML29 assay lets you detect residual disease in adult AML patients, oh, not patients, research use only, um, at clone frequencies between one in a thousand and one in a hundred thousand. And that's a huge gap, a huge range. And this is cool, you can decide how sensitive you want it to be by simply putting in more DNA or less DNA. More DNA, higher sensitivity. Less DNA, lower sensitivity. Um, these assays are available as kits. They come with software, so you can run it in your own lab. That's nice. And it's not just about AML, you can make, we make all kinds of oncology assays, so if you're interested in a different MRD or oncology related assay, you can, we can make it for you. So we have a booth, has a big pink wall in the back, come say hi if you wanna talk about some stuff. Thank you very much.